Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe. I'm a model, personal trainer and nutrition coach. And today I'm going to be talking to you about activating your glutes. So why you want to activate your glutes is really, really, really important to growing your glutes. And I get so many questions about how I grew my glutes and what exercises to do. But if your glutes are not activated, when you work out, then you could be doing workouts that are for your glutes, but they're not actually working properly because either your glutes are not activated or like you haven't activated them before you work out. You could be quad dominant. There's so many different factors. And this day and age, a lot of us do a lot of sitting. We don't actually activate our glutes a lot in the daytime, especially if you've got a sedentary job. Even if you're lightly active through the day, a lot of us don't use our glutes. So it's really, really important you act them before you start working out. Today I'm going to be showing you how to activate them and just talking to you a bit more through why it's really really important. If you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button you can click it whilst you're watching now it's just below this video and give this video a like if you like it as well and also don't forget to comment below if you've got any questions throughout the video and I will reply as soon as I can. So first of all we're going to be talking about why you need to activate your glutes. So as I said previously a lot of us do a lot of sitting around we don't really use our glutes in the daytime, so it's really important that you activate them. Also, if you're not very strong at the beginning and you're going into these exercises and you're loading loads of weight, you can actually injure yourself, especially on things like squats and hip thrusts because you can start to use your lower back and the pressure will go onto your lower back if you haven't got those glutes activated. And you can also start building other muscles which you may not want to do. So it's really, really important that you activate them at the beginning of your workout. Also, if you're typically someone who is quad dominant, this is also another reason that you would want to activate those glutes before you start working out. Other reason is in the long run, you'll actually be able to go heavier because the more you build those glutes and the stronger they get and the better they get at activation, the heavier you can go. Whereas if at the beginning you're like, right, I really want to build these glutes, I want to go super heavy, you won't actually grow them because you're not using them properly. So in the long run, it's actually better because you will be able to go heavier and therefore grow your glutes. So all round, activating your glutes is really, really key to your workout. First of all, I normally start off with a bit of mobility. So I'll just put that on the screen now, just showing you what I normally do. So like some walkouts, I do um, some hip stretches as well and some twists. And I make sure I do that on each side. And then I also do some leg swings. So these are really good to just opening up your hip flexors and getting your glutes activated before you start. So they're really a key part to your workout. There's lots of other mobility things you can do as well. You can do leg swings just standing. And after that, there's lots of different glute activation exercises that you can do. These are just ones that really work for me. And I know that they've worked for other people, also some of my clients as well. So first of all, I normally start off with some glute bridges. If you use a band as well, this will help to activate your glutes even more. And these are really cheap. I'll leave a link below and you can buy them off Amazon. They just help engage your glutes even more so. So you can do these two feet down and just make sure that you're pushing really, really hard through the heel heels, not through your toes. And then you can move on to one-legged ones as well, just to really activate. Now this is really important if you're more dominant on one side. So I'm more dominant on my right glute than my left glute. And I know this just from doing exercises that I'm stronger on one side than the other when I do single leg ones. So I just make sure that I really activate my left one before I start by doing the single leg glute bridges. Now remember this is just activation. So you don't want to tire yourself out. You just really want to engage those glutes. The next one I normally do is you can call them standing leg abductions. I kind of think of them a bit like a donkey kick, but standing um, people, they're a bit like the cable kickbacks. The technical name is leg abductions because you're moving your leg away from your body. I normally do these banded as well just to give that extra activation. Again, you can use the same band as before and just really think about squeezing that glute. And you wanna make sure that your core is really tight when you're doing this and you're not arching your back, sticking it out like this. You wanna make sure that your pelvis is tucked under, your core is tight, your shoulders back, and then you can do, you can hold onto a wall for stabilization and then do the kickbacks. Again, just do 10 on each leg and that will be enough. Another one of my favorites is frog pumps, which was 
basically made by Brett Contreras, who is like the glute man himself. He invented the hip thrust. Um, he's done loads of research on glutes. And you just literally, I'll show you again on the screen, you lie on the ground, you've got your feet together like a frog, and then you just push up through your glutes and you really want to squeeze as you push up. Make sure again that your core is tight and that you've got your pelvis tucked under. I'm kind of showing you on the screen what not to do as well. Um, and I'm pointing at my glutes to, to show you that you really need to squeeze your bum at the top and then bring it back down and then bring it up and squeeze. I normally do about 20 of these, um, again, just because I'm not doing it banded, so you need to do a bit more. Then I go on to banded walks or crab walks. You will need a band for this and you wanna make sure that you've got your core tight, you're slightly leaning forward and you can hold your hands on your hips or just in front of you and just do about eight each way. I do it really until I literally can't do any more. I don't want it to be like super hard, but you will really feel the burn. You do this and your glutes will be really activated. Again, just really think about it when you're doing it, that mind-muscle connection. So really engage those glutes as you do the walk. Also just remember on all of these to be pushing through your heels where you can and really thinking about engaging the glutes as well. So when you're doing the exercises, try not to think about other muscles, just really pushing through those glutes and squeezing them. Also at the end of your workout, it's really important if you are quite tight, just to do some stretches so that next time when you work out, you're not as tight. And also if you need to, use a foam roller at the end of your workout before you leave when your muscles are quite warm. I wouldn't suggest doing that at the beginning of your workout. Best to do the foam rolling at the end. And just make sure also before you start that you are warm. So don't, if it's cold, like don't just come into the gym and start because you need to get the synovial fluid warmed up in your joints to prevent any injuries and get those muscles warmed up as well. So it might be an idea to go on the cross trainer, do an incline walk, or go on the step machine or a bike for literally just five minutes, get your heart rate up, get you up to like an RPE of five, and then do your glute activation and your mobility and your kind of like warming up sequence on a mat and then go into your workout. Don't come in and do your glute activation, then your warm up, then your workout. And obviously, like I said, at the end of your workout, just make sure you stretch and cool down. So let me know what you guys think and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. I do have a glute video coming out really soon about how I built my glutes. I will put some pictures on the screen just to show you guys what my transformation has been like over the last year. I will be doing a video on how I did this and about diet and how often you should train and workout examples. Just need to film a few more clips of a few more exercises because I want to try and be really honest and show you like all of the exercises that I've done. I don't train glutes once a week, I do them two or three, sometimes three times. So I want to be able to show you all of the exercises. So that video will be coming out very soon. Don't think it'll be next week, but potentially the week after. So make sure you are subscribed. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at underscore Chloe Inspires underscore. And if you've got any questions, you can email me and check out my website. It's got all of my services on. It's got testimonials. It's got a contact page so you can drop me a message. It's www.chloeinspires.com. All my links and stuff are below for the bands, for a mat as well. And there is also a couple of protein powder discounts if you want them as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!